most recruiters decide in under 10 seconds if your portfolio is worth their time or not. And your portfolio's hero section is their first impression. So in this video, I'm gonna share five hero design layouts that you can use to make your portfolio stand out and to get you one step closer to finally landing that design job. Before we look at those five different hero design variations, I wanted to first take a moment to talk about what should actually be in the hero section of your portfolio because it doesn't matter how beautifully designed your hero is, if it doesn't include the right elements, then your hero won't be able to do its job effectively. So what are those elements? Let's break them down. One of the first elements you'll need in your hero is a headline that tells people what you do and who you are. This is one of the first things that people will read when they land on your portfolio for the first time. So don't overcomplicate it and try to be poetic. Keep it simple and make sure that your headline is readable. If you want, you can even include a sub headline that adds some additional context or a touch of your own personality. Number two, show your work. It's the main reason people come to your portfolio. So don't hide your work or make people scroll to see it. Show it above the fold in the hero. Third, you need a clear call to action somewhere in your hero, especially if you're looking for work and are trying to get hired to land that design job. Number four, you can even include brands that you've worked with. Again, this one is optional, but if you've worked with big recognizable brands, then you can include the logos of those companies, or even write out the names of those companies somewhere in your hero. And this will instantly add some credibility and social proof to your portfolio. When all of these elements come together, your hero is able to do the job that it was meant to do, which is to capture attention and to convince people to stick around and explore your portfolio further. All right, now that we've talked about the elements that you should include in the hero of your portfolio, let's now take a look at five effective hero design layouts that you can use as inspiration for your own portfolio. The first layout I'm gonna cover uses a classic bento grid layout. It's broken into three sections with the top block spanning the full width of the grid. It includes all the essential hero elements we talked about earlier, a clear headline, a symbol CTA, and a teaser of their work. What I really like about this one is how clean and balanced it feels. It's not over-designed or trying too hard. It just works. Another thing that makes this hero design good is how it leads with the work. It's at the very top of the page, and it's one of the first things you see when you land on this portfolio. Notice how the video takes up the most space, so it immediately pulls you in. Then your attention naturally moves down toward the headline. It's a small detail, but it creates a nice visual flow. This next hero takes a clean, straightforward approach. It leads with a simple headline, and right below that, there's a carousel of their work. This layout is a good example of how to use white space to make your hero section easier to scan. One thing to note here is, if you're using device mockups for your project thumbnails, be sure to scale them up because when they're too small, it becomes harder for people to actually see the design work in the screen, like in this case. This next one takes a different approach with a really simple two column layout. On the left, there's a sticky vertical navigation. And on the right, there's a grid of projects that instantly shows her work. Even though it's not a traditional hero with large headline and a CTA, it still works really well. The left side gives you quick context about who she is, while the grid on the right immediately teases her work above the fold. And I love how she's using the videos here. Again, it's a great way to draw attention to her work and makes the whole section just feel more alive. The next hero example here uses a classic centered layout. His work sits right in the middle of the page, sandwiched nicely between the headline and the subheadline. It's simple and balanced. Centering everything just draws your focus to the work immediately. It's right there, front and center. The brand names at the bottom of the hero are a nice touch as well because they add some credibility and social proof. I just wish the text were a bit larger and the gray was a bit darker because it's currently hard to read. Again, 
The layout is pretty simple, but all that white space makes the hero feel modern. And being that he's using a limited color palette, his work in the middle just pops and stands out even more. If you're thinking about using a centered layout like this, it also helps to have something peeking up from the bottom of the screen. That small visual cue just encourages people to want to scroll and explore more of your portfolio. This last hero uses huge editorial style type that immediately grabs your attention. Like the other examples, it also checks the boxes we talked about earlier. There's a clear headline, a CTA, and a couple projects teasing their work above the fold. I'm a big fan of this design personally, especially as someone who loves editorial style layouts. But if you're going to use a layout like this that leans heavily on typography, you have to make sure you spend some time finding a good font. Otherwise, the design will feel off. And I also like how they've indented the headline here. It has a bit of visual interest and style, but it's something to use carefully because too much indentation can make the text harder to read. But if you do it in a conservative way, I think that it could work really well. All right, those are the five hero design layouts that you should use as inspiration for your own portfolio. I'll leave a link to all the portfolios I shared today down in the description below if you want to check them out. And if you enjoyed this video, I wanted to also remind you about my framework template, Lo-Fi. It's designed to help product UI UX designers just like you build a portfolio that stands out and cuts through the noise.